Welcome back to the Ramblin' Railroad on Railroads Online. We got uh, the roundhouse done, where we, we are storing our steam locomotives. And in this episode, I think I want to build a shunt yard inside of here. Now, last video I kind of went on a little bit of a rant. I was called some pretty bad names. Uh, by an internet troll, and that's what he was, was a troll. And um, saying that I was copying some other people who have done the same things I have done in this game. And I, I'm okay with that. I'll talk a little bit more about that again. I, I do apologize. I don't like to, to rant. I'd rather play the game. But I do want to put the, the shunt yard in here, the, the long shunt yard. I looked at a different spot. It's actually on the other side of this little hill. Um, for doing a, a shunt yard over there. I got a different plan for that spot over there. I think you'll like it. It is way different than what I have seen other people do. Um, but for this one, I think we're going to put that long shunt yard into here. Uh, I would like to come off right behind this corner, right before this curve starts. And I'm not sure what's going on with the game audio. Uh, the music was playing just a second ago. It looks, sounds like it died, and I just checked to make sure that it wasn't muted or something, and it's not, so it uh, must be just a pause in it or something? I'm not sure. So anyway, we'll come off of here. I think the straight track starts right here, and that is not straight, actually. Um, I just did some measuring and some trying to determine off-camera if this is viable or not. The shunt yard won't be nearly as big as I wanted to. I want to go all the way over to that loading dock over there. But we just don't have enough space on the other side to bring it all back to the main line. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some dead ends on there. And I'll show what that looks like. But I discovered that this is actually not straight. And the reason it's not straight is because later in, later on, I came... A, oh, gosh. <laughs> Later on, I came to put in this switch here. And when I did that, something got a little bit off to the point where when I run a rail on top of this rail, down there at the very end, this rail is like over here. And so what we're doing, uh, it's, it's not very much, but over a great distance uh, that we're going to be running, that it's not going to work right? That's nothing's going to line up. So I need to actually redo this section of track probably from back where we just started from. And so I'm going to go ahead and demolish all this. I'll do this off camera and I'll get this all looking perfect. I mean, it looks good to me right now. I mean, it's, I've been playing with it for a long time like this, but it's not going to work if we put the, the shunt yard here. So Let's get that done, and I'll be back with you as soon as that is done. We'll start building the shunt yard right inside of here. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be massive. I can't wait to see it all done and complete. It's going to look just like this one, but bigger. It's going to be a pull through with some dead ends up here at the on this loading dock here. So, all right, without further ado, let's get it done. All right, so I got this piece of track now completely straight all the way from that end to this end and right here you can see just how far off it was not a lot but over a sh long period of distance that really is going to uh, matter and we start running parallel track we want to be actually parallel instead of sticking out because we will be tying back in right about this area and if it's not right it's not going to line up and it's vital that our st starting track, our mainline track, is straight right along our shunt yard. Okay, so now let's run back down here. And right here you can see, this is the crossover piece that I used to make this straight. So I think I said I wanted to come off right at this corner of the building, which would be great, but we're still in the, we're right in the curve right here. And when I try running that straight, it actually shoots off like that way. So 
right here I think were nice and straight and perfect. So we'll go ahead and delete that and we'll put in our switch right here. Let's see, this is going to be a switch, right? I have to delete some extra rail here. There we go. Okay, and then see, I, I envisioned for some reason in my head that this would come off steeper and like shoot that way. And then we'd have lines going off, but it's so shallow. Like, it's pointing at the end of the building over there, instead of, like, over here. So, it is what it is. It's still going to be a, a really nice shunt yard, I believe, when we're done. So, now we want to make sure we get the switched lefts. And that's one. We need to count these. Or do we? Do we need to count them? Because we're going to be putting in the last couple are going to be dead ends, I believe I said. Let's see now. We got one, two, three, four. Can't see it. Great. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shunt, yard, eight shunt lines. Great. Let's run way back down here at the other end. Alright, now we're down here at this other end. We need to put the switch in. I want to be as far down here as we can. This is all going to get redone because obviously it doesn't line up anymore. So, the groundwork I'll have to fix and everything. I'll do that after this is all done. Let's demolish. It doesn't matter. Demolish that, demolish that. We know that this is straight, so we're going to... Doesn't matter which switch, we just need to drop the switch down. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. Uh... Okay, and then we need a placeholder because we can't put switches on the other way you know so now we have to delete this switch okay now we can attach a switch right here hopefully that made sense now this one we want to be switch left so now this lines up well <laughs> it's supposed to. It's probably the groundwork all jacked up. Let's uh demolish that. That doesn't look bad. Can't see it anyway. Alright, so now we did nine, eight over there. I already forgot. <laughs> so let's, uh, these don't really matter um, which one, which way they are, but we'll do switch lefts. So you can kind of see that these, these will probably get deleted because they won't line up, right? That's what I had to do over there. Um, we have to do like this weird switching thing that uh, will get them to line up properly with the other side. So let's get these laid down. And this is basically to know just how far we need to take those tracks over there. I'm starting to get a little concerned. I'm thinking maybe this isn't going to be long enough. I really kind of want to get alongside that loading dock. No, that's not right. Yeah, okay.
Oh, wow. Um, let's try something really quick. To me, this looks like it's actually going to line up. Oh, well, we don't have to do any weird flipping of the switches. Like I had to do over here uh, earlier. Which I don't think made it into the stream. So we need to, because we're hovering above the ground now, uh, we need to use these crossover pieces. We'll just attach that. And I think that's probably close enough. Yeah. That actually lined up. We might not need to do that uh, flip of the switch thing. Turn it around. We use like crossover pieces. You um, you put down a, a piece. Let's come out here and do it. I'll show you. You put down a piece. You go straight across. You need to put down a crossover piece Oop. here. And then you do delete this. Ah, come on. And then, so this is like your placeholder, right? And then you do the other way. You put it down and then you'd put your crossover piece here. Delete it, shoot it across again, go straight across, put your crossover piece here and then put your switch in and it would, everything would line up. But what I think just happened is that we just got either extremely lucky or something, it all lines up. Maybe they changed the dimensions, but that would screw up like all the rest of the switches, I would think. I don't know, that's interesting, I, I'm not sure. So, uh, this one is a very short little shunt line. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should just come back here. This one will be a little bit longer worth having, right? But we keep this kind of going straight. Maybe we'll come off here like we'll delete this switch and we'll come off this way and kind of come up along here and go alongside this loading dock just for fun. Um, I really don't know if that's going to get us any benefit. It probably won't. Because we can not always unload on the other side. We're not having multiple people trying to unload at the same time on this on this game, right? So, okay, well, that's cool. Um, I can do the groundwork first. That's what I did over on this yard. I did all the groundwork first, and then I laid down the the pieces, but I found that the groundwork isn't like perfectly parallel, right? You can see like this, there's a line right here. Like if we just come in here, uh, <laughs> what am I, what am I thinking here? We lay, lay it down like this, right? Now imagine that's really long. If it's not perfectly straight, you're going to see this line. And that's kind of what happened over there. And I ended up redoing it all after I got the track all laid down. And it ended up being more work in the long run. So what I think we're going to do is we can't use switches. I tried switches in the past. And the issue with switches, even though they, they will link and they'll be ri rising up. Does that line up? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, the point of attachment here for our rail let's see patch it doesn't make it you see the minimum distance isn't long enough and there's nothing out here to attach to so we can't use switches so we have to use these crossover pieces and we'll just put down a few it sucks that we have to do, you know, select them each time, but I get it. This is kind of, I don't want to say cheating, but it's like, um, it's not what its intended purpose is for, right? I don't, I only have one crossover piece in my entire mountain railroad here that actually is used as a crossover piece. So, this gets monotonous. And these longer runs, it might be worth it to lay down the uh, groundwork first and then do the, 
you know, make the track start off straight using a crossover piece right off the switch, and then just run the track using the alt lock and get the get the rail laid down. You can do it pretty quick, but your groundwork, like I say, has got to be nice and straight. Otherwise, I think we're close enough now. Nope. Otherwise, you're um, it's gonna look weird, right? You're gonna have your groundwork kind of wavy and your your track nice and straight. Which, if that's your prerogative, that's your prerogative. But for me, I like everything to be as straight and as good as pop. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that everything's lining up. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so now we just come back. And we do a three-foot rail. And we can go pretty far. Uh, right there. And we want this to link. Then... We just delete these crossover pieces on hanging off the side. Last one. Perfect. There we go. Nice straight elevated, mind you. Nice straight shunt lane. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with here yet. We might keep this. We'll just kind of freehand it, get rid of the switch, get rid of that switch, and just kind of freehand bend that around. We'll see. But this one will work. It's pretty short, but we can park like a locomotive on it or maybe a caboose or something like that. Um, just for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done. And we'll uh, come back and I'll do the groundwork. Oh wow, I just did these three runs, working side by side, just inching my way this way. And finally, one of them is close enough I can hook up. Looks like a giant grid, but you can see the rail right where they're going to be. I got those ones done. Alright, back to it. Wow. This is a pretty big shunt yard. I'm impressed. This is a massive shunt yard. Like, this lane right here is a, probably about the equivalent of one of those. Well, maybe this lane. Yeah, this lane's like one of those. So... And I think I figured out why um, this lined up so well is because on this shunt line over here, I'll just run over here and show you. So we have this line here, right? And it branches off and it goes just like what we have over here now. But you can see like this is what I was talking about with the freehanding the, the groundwork underneath there. You can see it, and so. But this the curve starts, and the switches are actually backwards, so. That's why over here we had to do that flip thing. Um, it's still going the same direction. It, it, this makes sense. Like these are backwards. The these switches are are completely flipped around backwards. Where those ones, on the other side, or the even on this near side. They're actually going the same direction. So these ones are backwards compared to the ones over there. 
Think of it like, um, oh, I forget the name of that shape. I'll post a, a picture of it versus um, like a trapezoid, right? Where the angles are pointing in towards each other. Like that's how this one is versus this one where they're slanted parallel to each other. So I think that's why those switches lined up, which is great because, you know, we really only had to flip that once that would be like the first switch on either side we'd have to flip around and then the rest of them would just snap to it and, and work all right so let's get on with it let's um let's talk in more more work let's get the uh the groundwork laid down and i'm gonna do that by temporarily demolishing this switch i can see right there right where we need to go and I'm not going to use the alt lock for this, and I'm actually going to use a variable grade instead of the constant grade. That way, if I see that it's starting to dip away from the, the rail, I can simply raise up the section I'm working on instead of the whole thing and potentially burying the rail. It's all pretty flat through here, so I'm not really too concerned about it, but we're, that's what we're going to do. So uh, we'll just start here. Oh. That... Uh, corners right there see right here that that's what I want to try to avoid I need to go around and clean some of those up I didn't get just right there we go let's do little sections I'm not stretching it out to cross the map Demolish a rail. Well, these will obviously be put back. It's not uh, not a permanent thing. I'll get this uh, finished up and. When we come back, we'll uh, chat a little more. All right, I just got to replace a couple switches here. And I think that's going to do it for this shunt yard. Well, we got to clean up some edges like this over here, which we'll do that in just a second. Um, this is looking so awesome. I, I'm loving this. We I'm pretty sure we can fit a massive train on this rail here. And if we can't, then we need to break it up and put it into different shunt lanes. So, and these shorter ones out here, I think we could probably use them for either short trains, if that shunt yard gets full, or cabooses, or whatever. So, let's... um. Let's clean this up really quick. I'll just delete those. Just gonna freehand this. Yeah, that's that that looks okay. Adjust my hand there. All right, smack that down. Trying to stay semi straight. Perfect. What is this? Oh, that's. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I? Ah. Uh. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, so that's... I put the wrong switch back. There we go. 
All right, so next, next thing we got to do. God, this looks so great. I just love running across these and looking down like that. That's super cool. Nice, everything's nice and straight, pretty and perfect. I need to put supports under here. Every single one of these. Um, what else do I got to do? I got to redo the groundwork, maybe, under this line. For sure got to move this. I just realized this. This thing is floating up off the ground. <laughs> so, uh, I need to flip it around anyway. Um, this, this is the, the firewood depot. This probably is going to get remade. Uh, or it will get remade. So, groundwork under this one's not horribly off. It's it's fine. There's not a big gap here, so it's fine. Okay, so, and I'll do all this off screen. I'll put these uh, under under here. Um, maybe, well. I'd like to talk to you about my rant that I did while I'm putting these supports under the uh, switches here. I'm going to try to do it without having too many squirrel moments. Like this one here, I gotta put a switch in here. Scroll moment. Um, let me fix this. <laughs> so my rant that I did on the last video, uh, what what had happened was someone said that I was copying somebody else and they didn't appreciate it that I didn't give credit and called me a bunch of names and was really just mean and nasty and. I'm a big boy, right? I'm 40 years old. Um, I can take a, a a few bad names, right? But this isn't the place for that. This is... I'm all about free speech and, and everything, and I'm all about having a good time. But my channel is not a platform for name-calling, for criticisms that are not constructive, right? And that one looked weird. So I just... He rubbed me really the wrong way, and so I deleted his comment. I guess it's not going to do it. And so I deleted that comment. I didn't respond to it. Deleted it, and the more I thought about it, the more it irritated me. I don't like censoring. And But if you're going to do nothing but, you know, berate me, then I'm going to delete your comment, and I might call you out on it. Or I might pin it to the top so other people can, you know, look at it and laugh at you and call you names, but that's not who I really am, so um, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, anyway, yeah, and like I said, this is copying somebody. Like, his technique, if you know what I'm talking about, it's con gaming. Uh, he made a rail yard almost the exact same spot using the exact same method I just showed you. And... For some reason, though, he had to do his little flip thing. Um, and that was a long time ago. Uh, probably, it was before Thanksgiving. And I saw that video, and it was before I was recording. Uh, and I was like, yeah, if I ever start playing this, I think I saw that video before I started playing this game. And I was like, yeah, if I ever start playing, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. You know, and the way I view it is if you copy someone, that's the ultimate form of flattery, right? So if you if you copy me, for example, if I have my quote original idea, end quote, like my my roundhouse over here, and you copy that, I love that. Great, good on you. You know, uh, if you you'd want to do this and you know, or or anything else that I do, where I got an idea from somebody else, that's what YouTube's all about. That's what sharing this information is all about. Is you know, we learn from watching others do. And it's it's the ultimate form of a thank you for me is if someone copies what I do. Now, if they are taking credit for it, that's something different, right? They're, they're blatantly copying me and they're saying that theirs is so different and they don't give credit, you know, or, or something like that, uh, then that's that's not right. But And what that, that commenter was talking about was the bridge that I made going to the iron mine, that secondary route, that big, big bridge, that steel frame bridge. And so I went and actually looked at it after I deleted the comment and I got all, you know, irritated. I went and looked at Khan's bridge 
and he had just posted a video of him making it and it is so vastly different like it is way different so I don't really know what that guy was talking about um, I do get inspiration from the other youtubers like I said but it was certainly wasn't copying anyone um, our bridges are pretty much in the same spot but our routes are vastly different um, he's not too concerned about grades and angles and that sort of thing whereas I am whoop so anyway that's pretty much my my rant um, this turned out really great it looks just like cons uh, it's in a little bit different spot his loop is a lot smaller than mine mine's a lot bigger than his I have a lot more wasted space um, but you know this is about the only thing that's similar right that's like um, someone pointing out the fact that I have a loop around the sawmill well everybody's gonna have a loop around the sawmill it's all gonna be roughly in the same place because that's where it goes so just like the shunt yard this is the logical spot for it that's why Con picked it and that's why I picked it so shove it <laughs> but anyway that's all I got for this video. I'm going to get the rest of this all cleaned up. And I'm going to flip around that, that station, uh, refueling station. Um, oh, we should try this. We need to try this before we go. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna grab, grab this uh, train right here. And we're going to put it on one of these shunting lines. Our fire's cold and our water... Temperature is falling, but we should, might have enough steam pressure to get at least onto a turntable. That is so cool. And no derailments this time. <laughs> That looks so cool. I wish it was bigger. I, I mean, I really do. I really wish we could make that this whole area just rail. But it is functional. It'll work. I just realized the problem. It's not gonna problem. We're, we're just gonna back onto it. That so we can't loop around and come in this way. It is what it is. We'll just back onto it. Yeah, we'll put him down. Slowly moving. It's in neutral. No, no regulator. Let's put him down this one here. Well, Go this one here. I think that'll work. Whoop! I missed it. <laughs> missed the train. You know what? Just in case this thing goes off the rails, pun totally intended. <laughs> That's so cool. Right, let's get a little bit of speed here. Hide the HUD. It's starting to look like an actual train yard now. This, this game is just so awesome looking. We've really come a long way in video game te technology, haven't we? Oh, I can't see that caboose, though. Hopefully we're not derailing right now. <laughs> I'm sure we're not. If we are, I saved it. Trees, come on, trees.
Oh, that's so sick. Hopefully we're going to have enough room. I don't know what the condition of that switch at the other end. We got tons of room. Look at that. This train would fit in this shunt lot yard. Maybe even, well, maybe not that one. This one for sure. We're still going. We're, we got a long ways to go yet. We got oodles of room. All right, but we gotta come. We gotta stop because I don't know. Yeah, those these switches are all. Uh oh, it broke the coupler. Uh oh. Ah. Did it just bounce? I think it just bounced. I think these cabooses are so light, it just bounced. Sorry, I cut away right there at the last second. I wanted to. Try and see what it's gonna do. Oh no, it's derailed. <laughs> Bang. Well, I'll get that fixed too. Let's set some brakes here, just for fun. <laughs> and I will get to work fixing up the rest of this, making it look awesome and functioning better. Thank you very much for watching. Please excuse my rant. I promise I won't do that too much in the future. Uh, I do appreciate all of you for watching. If you have any suggestions for anything, please let me know. If there's something specific you want to see, a how-to, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's what they're there for. Uh, thank you very much again for, for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We'll see you on the next one. And I promise the next one will be actually run into some trains. So bye for now. Have a great night.